Our next guest is a former professional cricket player turned reggae artist. All right, okay. and now he's here to talk about the sport, music, and his famous father, Omari Banks. Welcome to Arise 360. Happy to be here. How are Hi, you guys? Amari. Good, How good. Are you? So people know you as an international cricket star. Mm -hmm. How did you make the transition from cricket to reggae? Well, I'll give you a quick breakdown. Okay. My dad is a professional, well, an artist, a musician. Okay. I grew up in a home where music was part of the family. Okay. My, my bedroom being on top of the band house, so I saw musicians come in and out. But at the age of about eight, nine years old, I fell in love with a sport called cricket, pursued it. It was like an obsession, a dream. I went on at the age of 18 to play professionally, internationally at the age of 20. But um, I always stay close to, I would say, I guess my roots, which is music, being my dad, being a musician, my whole family, always around music. And um, just after when I decided at the age of 27, 28 to retire from cricket, I went straight into the music, so it's been like a, I say, two lives just fused into one. Really? Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. But you're not, your dad's not, just not a professional artist. He's Banky Banks, right? <laughs> exactly. Banky Banks. So, yeah. I mean, he's pretty legendary in the world of reggae. So how did his career and being beside him your whole life influence what you do? I'm just influenced me in a big way. As I mentioned before, I grew up seeing musicians come in and out of the house. Um, but even before I played cricket as a child, mm -hmm. Um, I did the whole talent show thing. Really? <laughs> and um, yeah, so it, I always had fun enjoying music. I played the guitar from a young age. My father always put instruments in front of me to ensure that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I guess, you know, as a kid, you want your children to do what you did. Right. So how many but instruments I, can you play now? Um, I play the guitar, a bit of bass. Um, mm -hmm. I'm always around the drums. Uh -huh. So but I would say probably the bass, guitar. And, the, and the, the guitar itself. When you grow up with a father who's a huge international music star like that, what is your childhood like? Um, Anguilla is an island where everybody is very small. Mm -hmm. I've been so, there, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. oh, wait, and okay. the lobster is divine. Yes, for sure. Mm -hmm. That's what you should go with, right? It's yes. so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I mean Anguilla is a country, I mean, the population roughly right now about 15,000. So you can imagine even, let's say 15 years ago, it wasn't even that, mm -hmm. but probably about 12,000. So, I mean, it's a tightly knitted community, mm -hmm. so everybody knows each other. So it's not like in a big country where, oh, that's Banky Banks. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have people you're respected, mm -hmm. but in, with regards to, you don't go down the street and see paparazzi trying to look okay. at you, that kind of thing. <laughs> but so, I mean, I grew up, people knowing my dad, mm -hmm. and they expected me, at, actually before I played cricket, to kind of follow in his footsteps. But when I decided to go different, it was like, all right, cool, he's following his own path. So, so that was, was the reaction when you decided that you would pursue cricket and not the, the family business of music? Um, I should say, I mean, there was no, no, no reaction, really, because okay. I was still a kid. I mean, I was eight oh. years old, eight, nine years old. You're still trying to find yourself. Mm -hmm. And the, 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 the story about it as well, my dad t traveled a lot. Mm -hmm. He lived in New Europe. He actually lived here in Manhattan. Oh. And um, my mother was involved in, in her business as well. She traveled a lot. So I actually lived with my uncle, Val mm -hmm. Banks, who was actually a former captain cricketer of Angola national team. Got oh, okay. So his influence as well. So I guess I was surrounded and um, by a lot of different sports and music were always my two passions. I always come into people because I remember um, my mom has a baby book and she did a great job of documenting everything that I did as a child. Mm -hmm. And um, in my baby book, my favorite toy, I'm gonna post it on Instagram soon as well too. Did she keep a documentation of my your first time on stage? It was the favorite I, toy? Yeah, actually my first time on stage was in Italy with my dad at five years old. He did Wait, a show. Wait, circle back though, what, was, what it was, did she document? What was it? My, my first, my favorite toys were what, what? guitar, uh -huh. a ball, and a bat. Really? Guitar, what a ball, and a bat, wow, um, okay. This probably was maybe, could be two, three years old. Oh. So she she saw something back then. Yeah, yeah. I guess you can say that most kids like, I mean, whether it's music or sports, but for, for me, it's, it's, you know, I mean, it's in your face because yeah. yeah. I can actually follow both passions. Well, we want to learn how to play with one of your favorite toys. We hear about cricket. I know it's sort of like baseball. Can you mm -hmm. teach us a little bit of I'll give you a little how bit. do we hold? Is it called a bat? What's the All stick right, this called? Is a bat. I've, <laughs> okay. It's I've had a few cricket conversations time. with <laughs> okay. people from America, the States, and um, they, they say this looks like a paddle. Okay. Yeah. But it's actually a cricket bat. Okay. okay. And um, in baseball, I'll give you, because I used to do a little bit of baseball. Way, swing this way, swing the Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. There we go. all right, cool. Yeah. <laughs> so in baseball, you hold the bat this way. Uh -huh. Right. I'm not going to swing. <laughs> right. You can Smack swing, just don't hit anybody. Right. All right. <laughs> 
<laughs> in cricket, basically, you want the two Vs of your hand. I'll give you a bit of coaching lesson. Okay. Two Vs of your, of your hands Got pointing it. down the middle of the bat. Okay. In the middle. The coaches out there, don't crucify me if I say something wrong. Okay. <laughs> and basically, you want your, your feet to be shoulder width apart. Got okay. It. Shoulder width apart, two Vs down the middle of the bat, and then you want the toe of the bat, this is considered the, the toe, toe. Uh -huh. resting behind of your toes. Mm -hmm. The handle of the bat resting on the inside of your thigh. Okay. You bend your knees slightly okay. for balance, because you don't gotcha. want to be upright, because right. you can't move really well. So you bend the knees slightly, rest your head on your shoulder, Ooh. Mm -hmm. head steady. Okay. And um, you just watch the ball, and basically, when the ball comes, you lift the bat up, mm -hmm. and then you hit. And this will be a perfect well, forward defense. Because usually in baseball, you hit up, but uh, you're hit down like this, like a sweeping action. Mm -hmm. So it's like baseball and golf almost. I was, uh, yeah, <laughs> probably a mixture. In cricket, okay. in cricket it's, it's more of a tactical and it can be, you can be a little bit more defensive. Okay. Mm -hmm. In baseball, you're trying to smash the ball. In cricket, you can actually, you would probably call it a bunt. You can oh, bunt right. the ball into the gaps, and you can decide whether you want to run or whether you want to say, okay, no, I want to, I'll probably stay. I, I don't think I can make it to the next end oh, okay. before. So in, in baseball, you go, First base, second base, third base at home. Let me see. Okay. okay, so let's see if I hold the V right, like this. Okay. Straight up and down. No, and hold it. Oh, wait, okay, All there right. we go. The, the toe point yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Shoulder width apart. Yep, shoulder width apart. And okay. they gotta be parallel. Okay. Toe of the bat behind of your toe. This one on the leg? Yeah, on the inside of the leg. Okay. Yeah. And when it comes. Bend your knees just... a bit. Yes, something like that. Yeah, something like that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for not embarrassing me. <laughs> like, I say something like that. No, very okay, close. Yeah, I'm close ready. enough. All it's, right. it's, hard, it's a little heavier than I thought it would be. Oh, yeah, yeah it this is. is. This is about two pounds, probably about two pounds, ten ounces, roughly. Two pounds, ten ounces. Yes, yeah, okay. Like that. I'm going to hold on to that. Mm -hmm. Yes. And now that we all oh, here, I'll toss the This ball. is a cricket ball. Okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. So I'm here. Mm -hmm. I've got my little stance. Just, do, do I, will I make sure you how to bat? Sure. Ah, okay. <laughs> do I throw underhand or? No, let me show you. Okay. okay. So basic, basically in cricket, okay. in baseball you bend your elbow. Right, right. To, 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 to pitch. Right. In cricket we call it bowling. 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 So basically this, is the, bowl. this is the <laughs> seam of the ball. Okay. Um, in cricket we have basically two kinds of bowlers, our pitchers. Uh -huh. All right. You have a fast bowler. Which is fast ball and a spin ball. So how do we bowl it? Let me yeah, show you. It's okay. a knuckle Give ball. Give it to me now. Uh -oh. <laughs> Straight down the middle. Let me get out the way. Hold on. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Here right. we go. I'm going to bowl to you now. My hand okay. comes over. Okay. Oh. Yay! Oh. Only broke we one TV. Break anything, right? <laughs> we're good. We're good. Okay, before we break anything else, we should let you perform some of your new music. <laughs> okay, we should do that. Yeah. We'll Please. take this away from Lola. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll Bye. let you go get set up over there <laughs> All right. and sing your music. Now, what's the song called? I'm going to do a song for you guys, one that I call Move On. Okay. And it's a song inspired by the transition I made from sport to music. All I'm right. Doing it. Ladies and gentlemen, Omari, Omari Banks. Banks. Move Root. on. This is going to be good. <laughs> All right. I'm glad you didn't hurt anybody with this I thing. Almost <laughs> I almost did. I almost hurt myself. <laughs> All right, here we go. Moment of trying to decide oh, if you will win all over and die. But there is no vision, my friends, we shall die. Steadfast in your faith and soar to the sky. But don't look back on what you could have done. Just move on, but learn you champion. And don't sit and suck, my friend. You are a godson. Just move on, but learn you champion. With faith, the battle's won. Enjoy the journey where you want to go. And smile at times when your face is running low. Beware of those who don't mean you well. Improve yourself and show others respect. But don't look back on what you could have done. Just move on and learn you champion. Don't sit and suck, my friend. You are a godson. Just
just move on Learning champion But faith the battle's won And when you've reached as high as you can climb Be sure to pass what you learned down the line Find peace in knowing you gave it your best Be true to yourself and have no regrets But don't look back on what you could have done Just move on, but learn your champion And don't see the suck, my friend, you are just move on, but learn you champion. With faith, the battle's won. With faith, the battle's won. With faith, the battle's won. Message there. Yeah, really thank you. Good. Thank you. Well, it's all about the message and the music for sure. Yes. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here and thank you for showing us your cricket yes. moves. And, 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 and now we have to move on. <laughs> but we'll be right back, so don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more Rise Entertainment 360. Thank you.